Welcome to the So What Box, where we help you discover the fun and creativity of sewing and improve your sojo. My name is Taylor, and in this video, we are going to learn how to make an awesome sunglasses case. Here are the materials that you will need. First, we need to make our pattern piece. So take your ruler and make a straight line across the top of your piece of paper, and then line up your zipper along the top. Make little notches, as I do here, along your straight line. Then we are going to fold the piece of paper in half, matching up those notches on either side. This will make a crease about halfway in between the notches on the top line. Now, line up your favorite pair of sunglasses with the nose on that center fold. Go ahead and trace around the sunglasses, leaving a good inch or two of room between the line that you draw and the edge of your sunglasses. We are then going to need to make a one half inch line on the outside all the way around. This is going to be our seam allowance. Cut on the outside line all the way around. If you fold the piece of paper in half before cutting, you will make sure that both halves of your pattern are exactly the same. You will need to cut out four of these pieces from your fabric. Two pieces will be the lining, and two pieces will be the outside of your case. You can choose to make these the same color or different colors. I have chosen to make the outside of my case a different color than the inside. If you want, you can make this case your own. Grab some ribbon and lay it out the way that you want it to look on the front of your case. Go ahead and trim the pieces along the edges and sew along each piece. Now we must lay down the front piece of your case face side up and then put the zipper along the top of that piece face side down and pin in place. Then put one of your lining pieces face side down on top of that zipper and sandwich it there. Pin everything in place along the top and then we are going to sew along that zipper. At our sewing machine, we need to switch our presser foot to our zipper foot. This is what a zipper foot looks like. With the presser foot up, you should just be able to release the presser foot and it will fall right off of that shank. Put that aside and then let's put the zipper foot back on. Let's make sure that that shank is attached to the left side of the presser foot. Now we are just going to sew like normal along the top edge of this piece of sandwich that we just pinned. The presser foot that we just put on for zippers will help a lot because you can take the top of those zipper teeth and just line it up with that groove on the bottom of the zipper foot and that will keep you as close to those zipper teeth as possible without driving over them. Now, fold open and iron along the zipper, then fold together and iron along the zipper. This will create a nice crisp line along the zipper. Now we are going to make another zipper sandwich as we did a few steps ago. Pay attention to the video so that you don't get confused on how to sandwich this together. Make sure that you are using the right outside color on the same side as the outside color that you already have sewn onto that zipper. Once you have sewn along the other edge of the zipper and ironed as in the last step, you are going to want to fold this open as shown and unzip the zipper halfway. Then we are going to match up both front colors and both back colors and pin around the outside. 
You will then want to replace your zipper foot with the normal presser foot and sew all the way around the outside edge. Make sure to go slow over the zipper portion and also make sure to leave about a three inch hole on the lining side of your project. That way you can turn the project right side out. Then take your scissors and make a little snip on the middle part of the W shape here all the way up to the stitch line that you made. Do not accidentally cut that stitch line. This snip is going to help the case lay flat once it is turned right side out. Reach through the small hole you left, through the half open zipper, and then turn the entire project right side out. Once that's done, you are going to want to iron the opening in and sew along that edge, closing all the raw edges inside. Then the lining can be pushed into the case and the zipper used. Now you've got a pretty cool sunglasses case. And if you followed along with our beach bag tutorial, you might even have a beach bag and a sunglasses case that match. <laughs>